da, 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 da. We're back on Smells Like 90s Rock. Sheila and DJ Pork took a step out of the room, but from the ashes comes S Mark once again. Give me the applause sound. I- I'm getting it. There you go. Yeah, I'm back, baby. Yeah. S Mark returned with Hooters and uh, a drink from uh, Sonic, did I see? No, it's Hooters. The drink was from Hooters as well. Yeah, it's in a Sonic cup. They didn't have Hooters cups. Okay, I'm thoroughly confused now. What? <laughs> so you had a Sonic random Sonic cup? Is that what you're saying? No, they didn't have Hooters cup, so they gave me a Sonic cup. They had a Sonic cup, and I don't believe that. You say that's weird. You say no. dumbass things, they and did. you expect me to believe that? They I don't. Did. Be- no, you're ma- you're making me mad. They did not have a Sonic cup. Yes, they did. They gave you a drink, what? and you put it in a Sonic Whatever, cup. Whatever, Phil. Or Why you are you went- calling me Phil? Or you went to a Sonic. <laughs> I think oh. that's improper. That's unprofessional. He went to Sonic to get his drink. That's that's so pork. We mm-hmm. we we were talking. Okay. You need to be more confident about what. You need to believe in yourself. Why is that? It's Tony Robbins all of a sudden. Because you're sexual. Okay. That's um. <laughs> she was done already. I, I should have just stayed. No, no, you've got a lot to offer longer. the world, pork. Like what? To brew the coffee. Yeah. Uh, you've got the Michael Bolton hair and. And that's it. You got the sarcastic attitude. Yeah. You know how no, to make pork stuff. is actually a catch. Yeah, he yeah, is. To be fair, yeah. we have told pork to have yeah. more catch confidence. Of the day. Yes. Yeah, it's it's hard to will confidence into existence. Well, this world. I'm wor- saying he should. He this, should have more, more yeah, confidence. Yeah. This world sucks. So Sheila, I understand. Should I have more confidence? No. I think you have too much confidence. I think you need to tone down the confidence. Yeah, you need. To, you need can to I can down. I tell you what that you told or tell them what you told me? Sure. About yeah. Tinder. Yeah. So you know, he's oh god, <laughs> where, where are we going exactly? Well, I know. Let's All where, right, where well, are we taking the car? Right well, now? it's not going to be that bad. But you know how he's in here talking about being sensual and yes. loving people and making love. So and, Todd said. So Todd. No, said, no, I'm Todd t- said I was creepy. No, I'm taking his mic off. So he said, you know how he's like, oh, it's sensual, and then the, and all this. Well, then he tells me. He has the gall to tell me that he met a girl on Tinder a few weeks ago, and the woman said, and I quote, and he quoted, you're a pervert, <laughs> but I love it. She followed it up with, but I love it. A- and then they did it, and he doesn't even remember her name. So far, oh, dude. First of all, this has been months ago, Todd. You said it was just a few weeks ago. I said months ago. Yes, you just heard me. This was like August. And I've done some drugs since then. <laughs> Jeez, I would oh, not Jesus have admitted Christ. that. Some. More than a few, I feel like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like the woman taken, said the woman said he was a pervert to his face. I feel like you've taken a couple of injections of injections of marijuana since then. Injections. Yeah. Yeah, straight up. Dry, straight THC. Just straight, straight into yeah. the veins there. That's fine. Oh goodness! But yeah, told him he's a pervert. Then they did it, and he don't remember who she is. Because I told him, I like, I want to stalk her on Facebook. I want to know who this person is. They're gonna swipe left again on each other. And and that's it. He doesn't know the name. Those are the two soulmates. You should have kept that fish on the reel. And now we got nothing. Now we have nothing to talk about with that. Thus ends that story. Uh, if you're Mark. listening, call nine seven four. No, don't. 25, yeah, no, 25. call us nine seven four two five three five. We need answers. Don't make it weird though. <laughs> I'm not it. Pork. Not it. Not it. Pork. Da, da, uh, for an hour, S-mark. for an hour and a half, it has been so weird. Yeah. <laughs> and it can. It can't get any worse. It can't get any worse. Trump's gonna get acquitted. That's gonna make it. We worse. already knew that going into this. I thought that's why I didn't follow it. Exactly. For weeks he's been coming in trying to sneak in political talk, and I'm like, no collusion, why? Why, no why, why talk about it? And he's like, oh, we're kind of living through historic times. We're living through an impeachment. I did. I wanted to talk. I wanted to talk but about it for two minutes. And you're like, no, let's talk about Star Wars for 38 minutes. Because <laughs> what's the point of talking about it? We know we spoiler alert. Just like Star Wars, we know how it's gonna end. Yeah. We we already got the ending of that story. We already know how it's going to end. And th- and this is not this is the second impeachment we lived through. Thank you. He didn't go I mean Clinton didn't go to didn't go to trial, but we've lived through two impeachments. So it's right. not that well maybe it's extra historic, but I don't know. But but we're, we're we're living under like the reign of a of an evil sort of an evil person with dictator like sort of sort of like Palpatine. 
Answer the phone. Answer the phone. Phone is ringing. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. Oh God. Sort of like Palpatine and Star Wars. Let's talk about Star Wars now. No, I it's watched. Not. I watched it's the not. Phantom Menace on Monday, and uh, I have to admit, upon what was it? It was him sending us some sort of S Mark. No, he hasn't been doing anything over here. He's just calmly breathing into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's been playing with his phone. Uh, no, thank God, I thought you were going to say with himself, and no, I was going to shut the mic off and run his away. His hands are empty. He's, he hasn't been I'm doing taking anything. it all in, guys. I'm just taking it. He's I'm just politely here. breathing into the mic mm. like normal. So I actually sat down and just paid attention to The Phantom Menace. It's actually a pretty good film when you just sit down and understand point by point by point what's going on in the film. Mm-hmm. It's I guess. Good. It's actually pretty good. Uh, and but the, you have to you have to phase out Jar Jar. It's just all you can do. Mm-hmm. I just uh, I've I watch it. Every, I well, I no, I don't even watch it every now and again. If I ever see it, it just kind of reminds me of being nine, and that's about <laughs> as much as I get out of it anymore. Well, I remember seeing it in the theater when I was a kid. Yeah, I was excited because it was the it was the first Star Wars film of my generation. I that was exciting. That sucked. Yeah, I and then I went in and I watched it. I was like, oh, this is what we got. Mm-hmm. I really this dug is, it when it came out. This is what our generation got. Our, my parents' generation got Chewie and Han and Luke. And I get this little scrunny, little oh, Anakin Skywalker, little dueling, Jar Jar. What happened? 